I'm Zania Maldonado here at Bradley Airport, where we definitely saw more people hopping on flights compared to last week when we were here. Bradley officials telling us they are expecting to see a 38% increase in travel over the Thanksgiving holiday compared to the last four weeks. Thanksgiving Eve looking a little bit different this year here at Bradley Airport. For one thing, no lines at departures or at check-in. It's kind of nice being around the airport when it's not as, you know, crazy and hectic. Travelers heading back for the holiday, thankful for the empty airport. I, mean, I feel pretty good good about it, you know what I'm saying? It just, I kind of like it dead, not so close to everybody, you know what I mean, due to everything that's going on. Man, I'm just excited to get home and, and kind of hoping it wasn't going to be too busy here at the airport. According to the CDC, traveling increases the chance of getting and spreading COVID-19, but officials at Bradley Airport have implemented COVID safety precautions for those that wish to travel. Some of those precautions include a mask mandate, so all passengers and employees must wear a mask and increased cleaning measures. They've also added an on-site COVID-19 testing location right next to baggage claim, and there's a new drive-up testing site. And travelers deciding to hop on a flight Wednesday say they're still going to take precautions when they get to their destination. I'm just going to see my family and uh, my grandma lives with my parents and she's 96, so they've been very cautious about COVID and all this. So, you know, I'm making sure I get tested before I see her and all that. Um, it's just going to be my parents, my brother and my grandparents. Normally it's my uncles, my aunts and everyone else, but because of obviously COVID, we are limiting it. And if you are traveling over the next few days, some good tips. Use a mobile boarding pass, bring your own hand sanitizer, and carry on luggage only if you can. At Bradley Airport in Windsor Locks, Zania Maldonado, Fox 61 News.